Young. So if Derek, you want to jump in and then uh, we'll move forward. Yeah, Coach, Derek Young, uh, K-State Online. Uh, just first, uh, what, uh, I guess, was the motivating factor to join Coach Tang at Kansas State? Obviously, I've, I've known Coach Tang for over, I guess, you know, half my life now. Uh, we first met uh, when I was coaching AAU basketball uh, in Dallas. Uh, he had just started at Baylor University, um, and then he's become one of my closest mentors. Um and just, you know, life friends over those years. Uh, I always tell people all the time, I, I'm, I'm Coach Tang, I'm, I'm my dad's, my late dad's, uh, <laughs> uh, Coach Tang is my, his, is my dad's second favorite coach behind me. Um, and uh, it was just our relationship, the impact that he had, he's had over my, on, on my life uh, and my family's life. Um, just the support that uh, he's given me is something that we, we've talked about since we were, you know, since we first met, you know, is, is having an opportunity to work together. Um, and obviously, you know, him offered me the opportunity to be associate head coach and have uh, more responsibility at this time in my career. I just thought it was one, one step closer uh, to my ultimate dream of becoming a head coach. Uh, but I believe in Coach Tang. Obviously, he's a proven winner um, and very instrumental in what uh, Baylor was able to accomplish over these last 19, 20 years has just been remarkable. Um, and I, I just believe him and in, in, in him as a leader of, of men. And you're more known for, at least so far, for a recruiting pedigree. But if you had to say you leaned on offense or defense philosophically, I guess, what is your more of your, you know, where you have mastered which side of the ball? You know, Derek, um, I, I believe that I'm probably more of a relationship coach, um, but I, I do, uh, you know, I think kids don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Um, and I'm, I'm passionate about the game. You know, I'm always learning, um, you know, new ideas and concepts on both sides of the ball. So wh whatever side of the ball Coach Tang uh, needs me uh, to lean on more, you know, I, I, I feel confident that I'll be able to help this staff and our, and our team um in, in that that area obviously you know I've, you know my career I've getting gotten a chance to work with some of the best defensive minds um in the country so um you know we've we've talked you know about you know probably a little bit more about me possibly helping out more on the defensive side of the ball but it all depends on how we round out the, the rest of our staff thanks coach Uh, next question to Kellis. Hey, Coach. Kellis Robinette here from the Wichita Eagle and the Kansas City Star. It's good to meet you. Welcome good to Manhattan. Man. Yes, sir. Um, I, I'm curious, how do you think your background coaching at so many Texas schools and recruiting in so many areas in the Lone Star State will help you now that you're, uh, you know, here in Manhattan? Yeah, you know, uh, just from the outside looking in, I always looked at K-State as a place that they always tried to recruit uh, the state of Texas. And it's been quite a few guys, um, Wesley Wandu and, you know, Thomas Gibson, the two that, that really come to mind, obviously, um, that had great careers here. Um, you know, guys that, you know, maybe some of the in-state institutions or other uh, institutions in the Big 12 that, you know, typically recruit uh, Texas may miss out on it and, and some, you know, it's some guys like Wesley Wando that end up being NBA players and, and have a, a high level of success. So I think um, I've always been at, at institutions where Texas was home uh, and then we were able to branch out and, and recruit nationally. And obviously we want to take care of our backyard here and, um, you know, re recruit the state of Kansas and, uh, you know, have a presence in Oklahoma as well. But obviously we will we'll have a strong presence in the state of Texas and hopefully uh, my time at those institutions uh, there in the state of Texas will pay us dividends recruiting wise. What would you say you learned most from coaching under a guy like Chris Beard most recently? You know, um, man, he was just an everyday guy, you know, his passion uh, for coaching kids and getting them better. You know, we, we uh, uh, just, you know, I, I would say probably, and it's a lot that I, I can talk about Chris Beard all, all day, but um, I would say just the, our attention to detail and, and executing what we call the process every day. Um, and just guys, you know, sticking to that, you know, getting better through film study and practice, individual workouts, um, shooting, um, really taking care of their bodies, uh, understanding the importance of, you know, nutrition and uh, strength conditioning. 
uh, and just being the best version of themselves every single day and, and stacking those days. And there's a lot that what, what Coach Tang has talked to our guys about um, in our early weeks here uh, with our team. It's just, you know, we talk a lot about winning the day um, and, and a lot of the same things, you know, just being able to stack those days, win the day, and then those days uh, will pay dividends, you know, with the mindset that the championships are won today, essentially. I know, I know it's still early, but you guys have got some scholarships to use this offseason. What would you say is the top recruiting priority at the moment? We need, we need immediate impact, you know. Um, you know, obviously, we've got quite a few holes to fill uh, to be able to elevate our roster. Um, I don't think, you know, we've talked a lot about, you know, being able to, you know, having, you know, four or five guards that we can really count on uh, as, we, as we battle in one of the toughest leagues in the country. Uh, but we're on some some really good guards that we feel really good about, uh, guys that have been really excited to talk to Coach Tang and our staff. Um, and so um, we're optimistic uh, that, you know, we're, we're on the right guys and, you know, feel uh, confident that we'll be able to land some future Wildcats here pretty soon. And uh, last one, I'll let these other guys ask you something, but, but what's it been like, you know, this past week when it's just you and Jerome and, uh, and, and Dream and, you know, you're working together, no, you know, just here in Manhattan, totally focused on basketball. What have these days been like? It's been, you know, I, I'll tell you, man, uh, the one thing that we've been really impressed with is just the passion uh, from the people uh, here in Manhattan uh, for this great university uh, and particularly this basketball program. Obviously, it's a rich tradition here. And, um, you know, just everywhere we go, it's just, you know, the, the warm welcome um, has been great. Um, obviously, we've, we've just been working nonstop. Uh, turning our wheels to be able to cultivate relationships with these current guys um, and and build relationships with them quickly. And then, you know, working really hard to try to elevate our roster uh, as we um, expect to contend uh, for the Big 12 title next year. All right. Hey, thanks. Good to meet you. Welcome to Manhattan. Yes, sir. Uh, next question to Tim. Ever so Coach, um <laughs> How uh, how daunting is it to face this many scholarship openings uh, in, in a place where you just move to and have to pick it up real fast? You know, um, I mean, I, I, I look at it as a as a great opportunity for us to go out and recruit some some high character kids to have they look at our roster and they see that it's it's an the roster has really opened up for opportunities to come in and be immediate impact uh, players and so. Uh, obviously, there are uh, a great deal of players in the portal. Um, there are some junior college players that are still available as well. And then we're, we're you know, searching around for um, the best high school players that we can get involved with as well. So a lot of different avenues. Um, I think we have a, a um, an emphasis on making sure we, we're recruiting the right players uh, for Coach Tang and for this player, for this program that have fit nicely in this community that um, our Wildcat fans would be excited about. Is this opportunity something maybe you, your group of guys, Coach Tang and you guys have all kind of thought might come about and it just kind of aligned right here in Manhattan? Yeah, you know, I mean, again, uh, Coach Tang and I have talked about uh, working together uh, since I was 18 years old. Um, and it's been quite a few other jobs that uh, I thought that he would take and I would have those opportunities. Uh, but, you know, the good Lord led us uh, here together in Manhattan, Kansas. Um, and, and obviously, like I, I, I say all the time, you know, just my relationship with him and my belief in him and his belief and myself and my family. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I, you know, everybody wants to be, um, it, this was probably the, the, the first time I've, I've gotten a chance to work for a head coach where I had this type of relationship, you know, a strong bond. Well, I know he loves me and he know I, I love him as well. So uh, I, I think, and, and that in itself was, was very special. Thanks coach. We'll go to the other 10, Let's jump in there. Hey coach, Tim Everson from the Manhattan Mercury. How are you doing today? How you doing Tim, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Um, Similar, similarly to Coach Tang, uh, you have pretty good familiarity with the Big 12. You have pretty good familiarity with what K-State had on its roster. Initially, how did that kind of factor in as well with, with, with you deciding to, to jump on it at K-State, just your familiarity with the Big 12? 
Oh, no question. Uh, you know, obviously K State beat us at Texas last year. Uh, so um, had we knew that they had a very scrappy group. Um, and then, you know, we've had uh, you know, great admiration uh, for Coach Weber. Uh, Coach Weber is a guy that, that I uh, have known for a while um, and actually talked to when he initially got the job at K State um, years ago. Um, and, you know, known Coach Lowry and, and Shane, you know, even as a player and as a coach, you know, and so great respect for those guys. We knew that these guys have been coached um, and they had a, a pretty good culture here of working and defending uh, and competing at a high level. And so um, I think our familiarity with, with some of the best players on the roster um, was good. And then our confidence that our staff with the relationships that we all have, we would be able to come in here and, and elevate the roster. And so, um, but just the rich tradition uh, at K-State, you know, there's been a lot of great coaches, a lot of great players that have played here, the, the pride in this, um, this program, you know, we, we, we say all the time, we think they have, you know, we've got some of the best students, uh, uh, student fan body based in, in the country. So I uh, just decided to, uh, to, to have the octagon of doom really rocking and rolling. And then I'd, I'd be remiss to ask with, with, with the news coming out yesterday that, that Nigel Pack had entered the transfer portal. As far as the list of your guys' priorities, I know he said that he was open to possibly coming back. Where is kind of recruiting him back to K-State on that, that list of priorities for you guys? Yeah, you know, Nigel is a very, uh, very good player. Uh, a guy that we have a lot of respect for that we competed against. Um, and, and he's a guy that we'll continue to try to build a relationship with. Um, our program would never be about just one player. Um, and I think ultimately we'll have some success just, you know, having guys that really want to be here for all the right reasons. Um, and so um, we'll work hard to try to see if we can get Nigel back, if that makes sense. But at the same time, if, if he decides that it's in his best interest to move forward, we'll wish him the best of luck. Um, and we'll coach these guys that we're able to get uh, here um, uh, with us for next year's roster at a high level. We'll love on these guys at a high level. And like I talked about, man, you know, we, we've been optimistic just because there's been so many really good players that have been so excited about the opportunity to, to play for Coach Tang and our staff. Thanks, Coach. Welcome to Manhattan. Yes, sir. Thank you. Next question to Arnie. Hi, Coach. Uh, Arnie Green from the Salina Journal and also Topeka Capital Journal. Um, just wondered, with coming in and knowing you had to hit, hit the recruiting trail, how much time have you been able to spend with the, with the current roster? And is that kind of a difficult balancing act now trying to, to figure out which, which pieces are going to fit together and, and what, what your needs are? So, you know, obviously we've had team meetings, but also have had uh, ongoing individual meetings. And those meetings are happening, you know, every day, sometimes, with, you know, guys multiple times a day, um, just making sure that they understand our expectations and we understand we have a good feel for what their expectations are moving forward. Um, but I, I feel those conversations are, are going in the right direction. Obviously, some guys have decided to, to uh, go into the transfer portal. Um, and we support that. We fully support that. But uh, the guys that are, are working out are working hard. I, I think that they're excited about the direction of the program. Um, and we'll continue to have those 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 conversations with these guys. Um, but I, I think that you know, like you said, it is a is a pretty good balance. You know, we're working diligently to try to um, fill these spots on our roster with the right guys. Uh, but at the same time. Um, I always think it's, you know, when you, when you come in as a fresh staff, you know, you, you have to work quickly uh, to be able to uh, build relationships with those families. Coach Tang was able uh, to, to contact all of um, our players' families, um, and some have even got a chance to, to meet in person. So that's, that's been very good for us so far. Do you feel like you've got a, a pretty good handle on, on which players are, are going to going to still be around or is that still a kind of a an ongoing process I think it's work in progress I think it's you know it's college basketball now you know all these rosters are, are, are so fluent um and constantly moving and and um but I do feel you know that um 
we're, we're making headway in terms of make, you know, trying to build real relationships with these guys and, and these guys getting a chance to really know what we're all about on and off the floor. Uh, so I, I feel good about that. Uh, we've done some different team activities already within the first week, uh, going out to eat with some of these guys and watching some of the NCAA tournament games together as a, as a uh, program. Um, and, so, you know, that's been fun to kind of get to know, know these guys away from the court as well and for them to, to get to know us and our families. Thanks. Thanks, Arnie. Uh, go back to Derek. Hey, Coach. It's, it's me, Derek Young from K-State Online again. Uh, I asked Coach Tang this, so I imagine there'll be a little bit of overlap. But when you're when you're pursuing a kid, what's your ultimate recruiting pitch at this point? You know, I don't really, I don't believe in pitches. Um, you know, I think uh, recruiting it, it it first stems from relationships. Um, kids go. Um, they pick schools because they like you and they trust you. Um, and they, obviously the guys that we're recruiting, um, you know, a lot of these guys are going to aspire to play at the next level. Uh, but, you know, you, you talk about Kansas State, um, you know, it's a lot to still, you know, from the, the this uh, tight-knit community uh, that supports this university and this basketball program, the history, um, all the great players uh, that have played here. Um, the experiences that we've had as a staff developing uh, NBA talent at a high level, um, all of the winning that our staff has done collectively. Um, and then, you know, for us, you know, as assistants to be able to sell, um, you know, a leader like Coach Tang, uh, I think is going to be very advantageous for us. A guy that's a proven winner, uh, a man of strong faith that's about family, uh, that's an unbelievable communicator um, that's going to challenge them. Uh, our student athletes every single day to be the best version of themselves on and off the floor. Um, and so I think when families get a chance to come to Manhattan, and they feel the energy, they feel the love and the warmth uh, from this great community, uh, from this program. Um, I think we'll be able to connect uh, with a lot of uh, top prospects around the country. And lastly, I, I know you're kind of still figuring out who's going to be on your roster. But I think one guy that seems to have a lot of buy-in already is Marquise Noel. Just how excited are you to coach him? Well, you know, uh, Marquise was a fierce competitor, man. We we hated playing against him, man, when I was at Texas, man. Um, and uh, we 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 referred to him a lot as a junkyard dog. But he's been fun. He's been fun to coach, and, and uh, obviously he's got a great passion for the game. Um, we were just talking this morning just about you know, having the best off season that he's ever had, you know, and it's, it seems like his his heart and his mind is in the right place, his focus level. Um, and so, you know, we're excited. We're excited, man, to, for, to, to see how much better he can get. And, uh, and obviously being, you know, senior, he's going to bring a lot of uh, experience. Um, and, you know, I, I, you know, obviously he's one of the best defenders in the Big 12, uh, but he just brings so much every day just as, a, as an everyday competitor. Um, and it's going, I'm, I'm glad he's on my team. I'm glad he's in our foxhole for sure. Thanks, Eric. Tim, did you have another question? Fitzgerald? No, I'm good. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. Just want to make sure. Uh, Kellis? Uh, one, one more for you. Uh, Baylor seems to be like one of the few uh, Texas schools you never have coached for. So how is it that you and uh, Jerome became, you know, so close over the years and, and, and you know, led you, led you to this job? Uh, well, you know, Coach Drew and I talked about um, me joining the staff a, a couple of times over the years. It just, it just wasn't the right time. It just wasn't the right fit um, at that particular time. But I've got a great relationship um, with Coach Drew and obviously one of my other really good friends, um, Alvin Brooks, um, mm -hmm. who be here at K State is is there um, at Baylor now, um, but you know again you know just my relationship with Coach Tang uh, and him getting a, a head job in the Big Twelve and then obviously offering me the you know to, to you know opportunity to be his right hand man so to speak you know, and being an associate coach at this level um, and just my belief in him and um, you know it was a, it became a no brainer uh, for me as difficult as it was uh, to leave Texas. And we had a great staff there. You know, uh, Coach Beard didn't want me to leave, but he, he understood the opportunity at hand. And obviously, um, Coach Tang has always um, 
helped me along the way. And, and you know, I, I wouldn't, I tell people all the time, like I wouldn't be the coach, the mentor, the, the father, the husband uh, that I am today uh, without Coach Tane's impact. Um, and so, uh, you know, I laugh, you know, when he got the, when he first got the job at K-State, uh, he FaceTimed my wife and he FaceTimed my mother. I mean, that's how close we are. <laughs> you know, I, I'm going to make it pretty hard on Yuri. So uh, <laughs> you know, it, it was, uh, no, I'm just, I'm just excited about this opportunity to get a chance to work with him and, and the rest of our staff here to do some special things here in Manhattan. All right. Thank you. Uh, next question to Jackson. Thank you, Jackson. Hey, Coach. Jackson Schneider with KSAL Radio in Salina. Uh, my first question for, for you and, and I guess the rest of your staff is Coach Tang talked, talked about the three different aspects that his team is going to be identified by. Uh, I guess with that being appreciative and, and aggressive and being smart, what would you say outside of that is the biggest identity uh, that this team's going to have? Well, I, I believe that we'll have all three. You know, I think it's something that we'll preach every single day. You know, being we want to obviously be one of the toughest teams in college basketball. Um, we want to be extremely appreciative because um, we're blessed to get a chance to play the game that we all love. Um, and so many less fortunate that don't have these opportunities. We play, you know, we're playing at the at the highest level. We're playing in what we feel is the best conference in college basketball. Um, playing at a great university. Uh, that that loves us uh, and supports us. Uh, so it's just so much to be appreciative about, you know, and all those uh, in our program. Um, you know, this is a players program. We want to serve these student athletes, but it's so many people across campus too that help help us every single day. And we want to have a level of uh, uh, of appreciation. Um, and then we want to be passionate about what we do. You know, everybody in this program, you know, just passionate about the game. Um, passionate about improving, passionate about getting better, passionate about uh, being the best version of ourselves every day. So, no, I, I think when um, when when people come to see uh, our team either practice and or play, uh, I think all three of those characteristics will be exhibited. And then just with the short time you've been in Manhattan and around the K-State community, I was just curious the things that maybe have stuck out to you and if you had a chance to, to go out and explore town and campus just yet and what's stuck out so far. I haven't got a chance to go around as, as, as much as I would like. Um, I think I'm going to drive by Aggieville today so you know I can get a good feel as to when we win big games, you know, where everybody – I, I guess that's where everybody hangs out, our student, our student body. Um, and so, uh, but no, it's, it's been great, you know, just riding around and, and, and going to some of the, the uh, restaurant, local restaurants. And, you know, I think we went into a restaurant the other day and uh, the restaurant stood up and gave Coach Tanga a standing ovation. That was, it was pretty cool uh, to see. And so just the warm uh, reception that, that we have received uh, and this last week has been really cool um, to experience and uh, just to feel everybody's energy and passion uh, for this great place has been, has been really neat. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate your time. Yes, sir. Any other questions for Coach? Okay. Coach, if you want to hold 